Okay, Q&A day for the Born to Darkness countdown. And I have mentioned lately that um, Born to Darkness comes out on March 20th. I am counting the days. It is it is a fun, fun book, new series. Very, very thick book, very thick. First in, first in a... Um, a trilogy that may or may not be four or even five books, because, you know, trilogy doesn't really mean anything. Um, okay, and the question right now is from Peggy. Hey, Peggy, nice to see you. I hope you're staying warm up there in Canada. Um, she asks me, what was your favorite Oscar movie? Um, I actually, um, Ed and I did something really fun this year. We printed out the list of Oscar noms when they came out, and we um, used our pink highlighter to highlight all the movies we'd already seen by the time that the, uh, that the nominations came out, and then we went um, to pretty much a movie a week and, um, and saw only the movies that were on the, on the list, um, ma made sure we saw all of the Best Picture nominations, made sure we saw most of um, everything that, that we could get our hands on. Um, uh, I, I wish I had seen all the best, all the foreign films because those tend to be the really good ones. I'm looking forward to, um, to some of them coming to our local or art house here in Sarasota. There's a really great little uh, movie theater called Burns Court um, Theater Cinema um, that, uh, that shows um, really, really good films. Um, but, um, but I think, you know, my favorite um, has got to be the artist. I am, I am on team artist for, um, for the Oscar uh, ceremony. It's, it's actually, I'm, I'm recording this on Sunday. It is Oscar day. I'm, um, I've, I've uh, printed out my ballot. I've filled it in and, and I've made my predictions. And, um, and I really do think that the artist is going to sweep. Um, I, think, I think it's going to sweep for, um, for a lot of, of reasons because it, it, is, it was just uh, it was just the perfect movie. I um, I loved it, and uh, so that 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 has to be hands down my favorite Oscar movie this year. Um, she also asks, um, what is Ed writing right now? Ed has just finished writing a um, a screenplay. He's um, ever since we we filmed um, our, our movie, The Perfect Wedding. Um, last summer, and um, and ever since then he's been writing screenplays like, like crazy. He's written four of them, and he's just finished his last one, and it is a romantic comedy um, that I um, that I really really loved. It's it's um, it's got it's got a lot of physical uh, comedy, a lot of slapstick in it, and um, and I'm I'm really psyched about it. Um, so that's what he's working on. He's also gone into um, heavy um, post production um, uh, kind of. He's the, he's the executive producer. Of, of this movie, um, of the perfect wedding, and um, and we are um, in the last uh, stages of post production. So he's getting out his um, his executive producer whip and making sure that um, everything gets done that needs to get done. Um, you know, we have to make a movie poster. We have to um, uh, do a lot of, of, of things to, to get ready for our um, our upcoming um, festival appearances. We are we've entered some, we started entering festivals and we um, hope to have some news about um, screenings in the very near future. So, um, so that's what he's working on. Um, she also asks me, what food can you not live without? What an interesting question. Um, probably if it were, if it were down to um, the one thing that I would absolutely need to survive, um, I'd have to say basmati rice. I don't know why it is. It is my number one comfort food. Um, I love the way it smells. Um, <laughs> I uh, that. Weird, huh? Yeah. And um, let's see. Another question from Peggy was, "What technology do you love? iPhone, iPad, BlackBerry?" I have recently become an iPhone um, convert. Um, uh, when Jason was home over the Christmas holiday, um, he needed a, he needed a new phone, and um, and my and you know he looked at my phone and he laughed because it was like you know from the um, uh, uh, middle ages and um, and uh, and so when we went to to um, to replace his phone um, I looked at the iPhone and I thought yeah this could work and you know so just a few days after using my iPhone I was um, I was hooked and um, and I'm now um, uh, using I use it uh, like like the whole new world it is it's, it's very cool so yeah so iPhone